is not the YMCA. This is not the gymnasium. But this is a birthing room for the presence of God. This is a room full of women with wounds. I said this is a room full of women with wounds. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I got a wound today. Come on, say, I got a wound. I got a wound. And I'm not just talking about in the natural. You got to know what God has given you equipment to produce what you need. He's giving you equipment to produce what you need. Say, I got keys. Say, I got keys. Say, I got keys. Come on, say, I got keys. Say, I got keys.
what I'm going to say. But when God started talking about wounds, I started hearing women say, well, I don't have what it takes to produce anymore. I got rid of my equipment in the natural and in the spirit. But see, one thing the world don't realize God doesn't need it to manifest for it to operate. Because just like in Genesis, there was nothing before the world was created. There was nothing. But what did God do? He was Elohim, the God who made a covenant with himself. So he was like, God, what should we do? God, I don't know, but we want to make man. Well, God, make him in your image. And he said, well, let's do it. And he said, let's do it. And the world started to create. The land started to create. And then he spoke to the dust and said, I know there's no organs in there, but we about to make man. So I need you to catch the revelation. Your body is the earth. And all you got is dust in there. But dust is all he needs to create an organism. So I'm talking to you in the spirit this morning. Everybody with a dusty wound. You can be dusty today, baby. You can be dusted in that. Cause my womb is ready. My womb is ready. My womb is ready. I'm getting ready to push. My womb is ready. My womb is ready. My womb is ready. I'm getting ready to push. Until God make a way, 
I'm going to be like I'm on a beach somewhere with my feet up because I ain't stressing. If they threatening to repo your car, you need to learn some priority in your life. But if you take my car, it's going to remove the stress. Take the car. I know we've seen the gas has been going up and up and up, but don't get tripped up. Because just like there's inflation in this world, there is inflation in the kingdom. And there is creativity in the kingdom. I may not be able to go to any of these, but I can turn on a stove and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I need you relentless women to know in here because Sophia is going to push you to another level. But I need your ground to be ready for that next level. Say, my ground is ready. All right, don't lie, because just like Ananias and Sapphira, when they was asked a question and they lied, they, cut, they, they fell out and, and they were dead. So I'm going to say it one more time. If you ain't ready, don't say you're ready. I'm not talking about how you feel. But if something in you would say, well, wait a minute, if God say I'm ready, I'm ready. Don't worry about what you don't have. Let the world have inflation. Let them start putting mandates in place that is restricting and restricting and restricting and afflicting and afflicting. But here's some more word. As they were afflicted, the more they produced. The women were pregnant, y'all. See, Pharaoh thought if I can put more restrictions on them, it will take them out. But let me bring it to your street. They wounds were still ready to push. I said, even when the government starts putting restrictions on us, it only restrict God because you got the equipment women and it says that each time that they were afflicted the more babies they kept having so it confused the Pharaoh and the government at that time said wait we gave them birth control we told them about abortion we told them that you can't have no more kids like in China you can't have more than two children so even in China, even with that limitation, they were still having babies and they were shipping them to the international. They was giving them away, they was giving them away. So I need you to know, don't worry about the restrictions of this world. Cause if God needs you to produce, you won't produce. Say, I'm ready to push. Say, I'm ready to push. I'm ready to push. I'm ready to push. I'm ready to push.